sound good to me back up. Today I was going, the plan was to bring you two very brand new, absolutely brand new revolvers. They got into the FFL, unfortunately they were not checked in yet. So I can't start that review process until at least tomorrow, maybe even next week. So I'm going to make do because I was planning to do revolvers today. So instead of brand new today, we're going to go with old school Ruger GP100, Ruger SP101. 357 Magnum. So that's what I'm going to be bringing you today is mostly on the SB101. Of course, you've seen all my videos on my Taylor Edition 3-inch 7-shot GP100. But I'm going a little bit today with the SB101, which has been around forever, of course. Uh, it's been about 35 years on the GP100, SB101, I'm not sure. It's been around forever. Then. So I've shot it off and on a little bit here and there in range rentals. And this is what this is, is a beat up range rental. Today I'll be working from uh, dual Remora holsters, Gen 1, RFT. That is my recommended if you're going to do Remora, is Gen 1 RFT uh, with Artemis cuts. And that's what I'll be working from uh, today. And I'm going to be shooting some awesome targets from targetsonline.com. So guys, okay, showing you some of the awesome targets from targetsonline.com. These are not cheap paper targets. These are thick, cardstock, weather resistant, rain resistant, uh, awesome photorealism. In your training, this is the kind of stuff I want to be personally going to, and I recommend you do the same. Because they're drawn guns. These are used by different departments. I think this one's Wisconsin. You got some anatomy type stuff in here. There's another one right there. Look at this. More USPSA style right there, but thick card stock. Kind of like a mini B26 blue. Back to photorealistic. Pulling a Glock on you. Guy in a hoodie. Huh? When that, like that never happens. Okay, but you got... You got heart, lungs, spine as well. Look at the nice zone for the hits. Active shooter, headshot, about 15 yards. Seem like a good target maybe we should be training on in today's world. Yeah. A knife is just as deadly, if not more so by stats, than getting shot multiple times with a pistol. Got good boxes, got good T area. And this one I really like as well. And the one I'm going to start shooting out down there is uh, kind of an anatomy style with heart, lung, spine. Pelvis area. Hey guys, so in full disclosure, Targets Online provided these awesome cardstock uh, photorealistic targets that are super great. And um, a very used, beat up Ruger SP 101. But these things are tanks. As you can see here, the typical 357 Magnum with a two and a quarter inch barrel. That's the most typical one you'll see. And of course, my Taylor exclusive three inch seven shot. Unfluted cylinder 357 Magnum there with this beautiful, I believe, ultimate grips. So I'll shoot some mystery 357. It's Fiocchi. I don't know which one's the 125, and this is the 157 because I got other ammo coming in, but this is what I got in my bag today. I'll find out real quick in the SP 101. We'll probably handle the 125 pretty darn good. The 158. I don't know. I'm going to find out in a second. I loaded up two rounds, and we're going to find out. So hopefully I can figure out which side is which because they're not marked. And then I'll probably switch to some, some cheap Winchester 38 that I got going on. All right, let's fire these first two mystery rounds from the SP-101. Very hot, Fiocchi, 125, 158, the 125 will be hot. The 155, 58 might be a little too much in the two and a quarter inch barrel. I'm about to find out. All right, from the SP 101. Seven yards, target's online, anatomy target. I'm going to go for the heart. We'll see where I end up. Actually, let's see if I can stack the trigger the first couple. Oh, and I flinched the shot. 
It wasn't that bad. Wow, these grips are great. Okay. So I've been shooting my, my Ruger with these. Huh. Neither was that bad. That's amazing. These grips are amazing compared to my 38 ounce versus 25, 26 ounce Ruger wooden grips versus rubber grips make a big difference. I can't believe that I just handled the 158 that well. Let me reload and uh, I, I don't even know what the difference. Let's try that again. All right, I'm gonna try that again, see if I can figure out what's the difference in the ammo. Wow, I'm amazed how well these grips really work. Um, so the first shot I pulled high because I thought it was gonna break before I did, or maybe that was the 158, a combination of both. One went really high, one went perfect on the spine. Let's try to stack the double action as opposed to doing single action. And I really couldn't tell a difference. Because let me tell you, with my bigger revolver with the wood grips, 158s really hurt my thumb. Uh, wow, these grips are amazing. Those sh shots were in the heart. That's great. I went pretty fast. So now I'm just going to pull DA fast, see how I do. 70 yards again. It's doing a lot better than I thought I would. Wow, not having a problem with the recoil at all. See, I've never shot this with really hot ammo before, and I'm just amazed. All right, dealer's choice, I just mixed up the ammo. I'm really not even feeling the difference. I'm gonna do a cylinder dump at four yards, a little more realistic now. And I just threw it in my pocket again. You could pocket carry this, a little heavy for some people, uh, probably, but I, I could pocket carry it. Um, I'm just amazed how well it handles, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Uh, I pulled the couple high. Pulled the couple high. But as you see, center line, combat effective. Gotta bring the camera in. As you see, this cool target for targets online. Did all pretty good there. I pulled a couple of the last two, I think, high right there. I was shooting someone in the spine and the probably the break up earlier in this one. That, that one is, that would be uh, effective as well. So uh, I think I'll keep going, but with some 38s, because, wow, I'm really not feeling uh, much problem. But Rugers are built like tanks, and, and I'm. More impressed with the SP-101, maybe because it is a beat-up rental that the trigger's already like super pretty smooth um, without having a trigger kit. And, like I put an M-Carbo kit in my GP-100 and I had someone smooth over the trigger and the internals a bit for me, a uh, little bit of sanding. But um, let's put up a photorealistic target and, and rock and roll a little bit with some 38s. Okay, guys, uh, unknown contacts. Two guys come up. You're going to see me deal with it. Now, my movement in reality would be a lot faster backwards and probably to the right, circle out. Uh, but I'm going to try to stay in frame a bit. Um, and I'm trying to keep angles of shots a certain direction. Okay, so keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that this is not a modified SB-101. It hasn't had a trigger job. It had, has the front sight where I would at least put some uh, orange nails um, orange on the coat, or I would take the big one front sight and replace it with the front night sight, probably an excess big dot, um, or maybe Trijicon or something like that. So, uh, keep that in mind. I'm just gonna work with it. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? Keep your distance, please. Back up! Um, but Ruger reliability, right? Who knows how many rounds of bad shooters and bad ammo that this thing has, has had in it. Uh, one of my shots was a little off. We'll go see. This is why you train. My self-defense is hard.
Good shot, bad shot, okay? Then I moved, I got two perfect shots, spine on bad guy with a gun. Can better the guy with the knife wasn't down because I messed up. That hurt him, that didn't do much, and I didn't hit something structurally absolutely vitally important. But at the end I did to make sure he was down. So, I mean, SP-101 is pretty, pretty new to me other than a few shots here and there and here and there over the years. Let's run it again and see how it goes. Okay, guys, let's run it again. You see we're in the dark, different lighting. Uh, the holster, this is on, on the right side, it's a 3-inch for a KL. It's too big for the SP-101. The one on the left is a 2.5-inch for the KL Remora Gen 1 uh, RFT holster. Um, that one fits it pretty darn good, and I'm sure they have one that fits it even better. Um, so keep that in mind, and uh, let's just run it again. Keep in mind my movement. I'm not moving as much because of lines of fire. So I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm staying a little static on one and on the other because I'm watching where the bullets are going. Okay, so managing unknown contest. I'm done. Two guys suddenly appear. It actually happened to me two nights ago. Okay, so. Hey, guys. Oh, what's up, man? Hey, hey back off, dude. No, I'm Joe, man. Back off, dude. No, I'm Joe. Oh! All right, let's pause there and see how it hits. All right, well, much better this time. Small box, center mass, upper thoracic, perfect. Two shots there. And also good here. I think these two were last time, so maybe there and there. Let me find my finger there and there. Still pretty good there. I came back with a perfect uh, head shot. Again, uh, I'm plugging the targets a lot because this is way more realistic training. Way more realistic training with photorealistic hard cardstock targets. It makes it, you feel like you're there instead of just punching paper. And as a, a concealed carrier, an open carrier, whatever, as, as someone that is training for reality, um, boy, these uh, targets online, this stuff you see what I'm doing. This is like way more beneficial, I think, psychologically, to be able to handle with things right away. All right, guys, I think this is my last run. I'll wrap up my thoughts on the Ruger SP-101. Last run with hot Fioki 357s, three and then two. Maybe recoil-wise or flash-wise, we might be able to tell a difference. I'm amazed at these grips, and uh, here we go. Back off, guys. Back off. Oh. Got a bad grip on the gun, bobbled the draw. Again, the holster is it's not even the right remora size holster for it. But let's check out our hits. All right, hits look good over here. That was the from earlier, so two of these were right here. Pretty pretty much perfect. Okay. Uh, hey, hits are good over here too. He's all upper thoracic. And coming out to the headshot, actually got him below the nose, upper jaw, but 357, you know, that's going to that's gonna drop him anyway. Maybe with something lower velocity, it might not be like absolutely immediately. But anyway, guys, finishing up my thoughts. Finishing up my thoughts on the Ruger SP-101. Honestly, I wasn't a fan in the past. Working with it today, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, first rule of gunfighting is always, always, always carry a gun. I usually carry bigger guns. Even if I carry a revolver, my primary is a seven shot, the backup might be a five shot, something like that. So there is a limited ammo capacity. That is an issue. But if it's between carrying and not carrying, carry. That's the first rule of self-defense and gunfighting. So um, overall, I'm, I'm actually impressed with it. Obviously over time, the Ruger triggers um, clean up. They're built like tanks, they'll last forever. I would change the front sight on this. I might clean up the trigger originally or put like them carbo kit in it or some, some, something else, a wolf spring kit, something like that. Uh, but guys, uh, I'm amazed at how little recoil that this this is with these grips, which makes me think about, well, do I, I love the looks of the wooden grips on a nice stainless revolver, but maybe I'll change out. Uh, 
Uh, Remora did send these holsters, by the way. I got other revolver holsters coming, but I thank them for sending it out in full disclosure. And it's helping me do some reviews and whatnot. And guys, kind of following me along, if you haven't realized, to see if a guy with a belly, a da muscular dad bod, or a Stallone with the belly that I am, can change a bit into uh, appendix carry. So, um, at least with double action, I think that's the way to go when you're first starting out with a double action revolver, pistol, etc. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Rugers, and obviously today I had planned on shooting two totally brand new other revolvers from another company. So I got revolver stuff coming your way, and then I think I have another one coming after that that's a brand new revolver. So guys, please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. It always makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Looking at targets online, it's really going to like up psychologically you'd be able to deal with people confronting you. Thanks. I'll catch you on the flip side.